Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. In this video, I have prepared two very easy multiply choice questions for you. As usual, I recommend you to stop video here, read the questions, answers, choose your correct answers, and when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations. And here is the first question. The only people who likely would be genetically identical are, and here is the three answers to choose from. Answer. A. Monozygotic uh, twins, B. Dozygotic twins, and answer C. Monozygotic and dozygotic twins. And of course, correct answer would be answer A. Only monozygotic twins would share 100% of the genes, and uh, dozygotic twins would share 50% of the genes. And uh, next question. Which of the following statement is true concerning biological inheritance? Answer A. Each human somatic cell contains one of each type of chromosome. And this is wrong answer, because each somatic cell would contain two sets of chromosomes. So we can cross out this answer. And uh, answer B. When sex cells are produced, parent homologous chromosome separates so that each gamut contains only one of the pair of alleles for each trait. And this is correct answer. Let's check the last answer. Brothers and sisters frequently have exactly the same combination of chromosomes. So you may see uh, that here uh, in our first answer we see that uh, sometimes uh, brothers, uh, sometimes monozygotic twins would share 100% uh, of the genes and sometimes 50%. So uh, you may think that this answer is correct one, but uh, let me underline this uh, brothers and sisters. That means we cannot have monozygotic twins if we have a brother and sister at the same time because uh, genotype of the uh, male would be X, Y, and of the female would be X, X. So this tells us that uh, these two people do not share 100% of their genes. So here we have uh, Y chromosome, and here we don't have Y chromosome. So monozygotic twins uh, cannot be brother and sister. It can be two brothers or two sisters or three brothers or three sisters. That because uh, one clump of cells uh, would divide and produce two clumps of cells. That is genetically, um, the genetic makeup are the same. So this is how uh, twins, uh, monozygotic twins can uh, arise. And uh, the zygotic twins would be a completely different story. Here we have two egg cells, each would uh, be fertilized with different uh, sperm, and each one would develop into uh, embryo with its own genotype. That and these two embryos would share. 50% of the genotype of each other because they have the same parents but this is as you see completely different picture from monozygotic um, twins. Uh, here we had one egg cell that we were fertilized with one sperm and then just divided to two uh, clumps of cells that started to develop as two separate embryos but the genetic makeup is the same because this example we have uh, only one uh, sperm and only one egg cell so we can cross out answer c and the only correct answer left is answer b when sex cells are produced and sex cell is uh, gametes. Gametes can be of the two kinds, uh, egg cell and sperm. And of course sperm and uh, um, egg cell would be haploid. So 
paired homologous chromosomes separate so uh, that each gamete contains only one of the pair of alleles for each trait. And this is true. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.